Hey guys, welcome back. So it is super late at night. I'm getting ready to go to bed. I got my pajama pants on. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I got leopard print pajama pants on. I'm not used to filming this late at night. It's kind of weird, like, filming at nighttime. But I figured that I would share with you guys my skincare routine because I definitely have, like, a more extensive nighttime skincare routine. I can do a separate video on my morning skincare routine, but that's much simpler. So I wanted to kind of show you guys, like, the extensive routine and what I do every night to really keep my skin looking nice. So, yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing my skincare routine, and then just give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. Alright you guys, so the first thing I always do is pull off my dang lashes. I love that feeling. Then I'm going to go and get all of my hair out of my way. I don't like to get my hair like all wet and stuff when I'm cleaning my face, so I normally just use a big headband like this and put all of my hair back behind my face. Then I'm going to go in with this Murad Renewing Cleansing Oil. This stuff is amazing and will remove literally anything. So I like to warm it up in my hands first. And you guys will see I really focus this on the eye area because this really gets off the hard to remove products like eyelash glue or waterproof mascara. So I'm just using that. And now that my makeup is smeared all over my face, I'm going to go in with a makeup remover wipe to remove everything. The one I'm actually using in this video is from Olay, but I don't recommend them. I highly recommend the ones from Neutrogena in the blue packaging. I love those. I'll link them down below, but the ones from Olay are just the ones that I had on hand, but that's why I'm not showing any like close-ups of the packaging because I don't really like these. I find them harder to remove my makeup, but just getting all that gunk off. Then I'm going to go in with my Murad Time Release Acne Cleanser. This is my favorite cleanser, hands down. It is amazing. It has helped my skin so, so much. So I like to start by just putting it on with my finger and working it around my face. My face is damp, so I do have a little bit of water, but not like saturated or anything. Then I go in with my Vanity Planet Ultimate Skin Spa. I've seen so many people rave about this on YouTube and Instagram, so I decided to give it a try, and now I know why. It is a spin brush, and it has a slower setting and a faster setting. I tend to use the slower setting on the daily, but then um, the faster setting once per week when I really want like a really good exfoliation. And the bristles are really, really soft, which is really key, like major key, you guys, because I find so many times with spin brushes, they're just way too abrasive for my skin, but this brush definitely gently deep cleans your pores and exfoliates your skin, which is so important to me because I don't want to be like ripping my skin off, you know what I mean? So it almost kind of feels like a massage, like it's nice. It's not like it doesn't hurt your skin or anything like that at all. Um, it definitely helps with the dry skin. You guys know I suffer from very dry skin, but I really just feel like this gets off all of those dead skin cells that are like clogging my skin and then there's nice fresh skin underneath, which I like. And it definitely makes your makeup apply a lot smoother. So you can just pair this with your favorite cleanser. Like I said, I'm using the Murad Time Release Acne Cleanser, and these two together have really helped my skin. I have not seen any breakouts. I was starting to break out for a minute there, and I was like, what is going on? But these two have literally saved me. So yeah, I will have a coupon code down below. So just check the description box, and you can get this for 70% off. So for only $38 hairs, that's a good deal. And yeah, that was all the excess makeup that this bad boy got off. Like, I can't believe that was on my face. Before I used this, I used to just go to bed with all that excess product already on my face. And it does come with a really cute little case to keep it in as well. And it comes with an exfoliating brush and also a silicone brush as well. And then there's just like a little spot that you can keep the actual product in as well. So it looks like super cute on your vanity. Then I just pat my skin dry with a nice warm towel. And then I go in with my Exposed Skincare Clearing Tonic. This is a salicylic acid acne treatment. You don't need like a prescription or anything for it. It's just kind of like a toner. So I just put it on a little towelette that I have and wipe this all over my face. This does just help to clear any breakouts or help prevent new ones. Then for my serum, I go in with the Murad Advanced Active Radiance Serum. I absolutely love this serum. I just feel like it makes my skin look so much more alive and aware awake and radiant like it says and I also love the scent of it it's like a very citrusy scent I don't know it just makes me happy so I just apply this with clean fingers all over my face you guys will see I use my hands obviously a lot in my skincare routine but I do always wash my hands before I cleanse my face and everything like that just to make sure that my hands themselves aren't dirty I didn't mention that in the beginning but yeah just working that in all over my face for my eye cream, I use this Strivectin Intensive Eye Concentrate for wrinkles. I love this stuff. I already talked about it in one of my favorites videos. So you guys already know I love it, but 
what I do is I just use a very tiny amount of this. You really don't need a lot and I just work it in between my fingers to warm up the product a bit and then I go ahead and apply it gently to my under eye area. You want to make sure that you apply any eye cream or anything to your under eye area very gently and you're not tugging or pulling that area. I do bring it up right beneath my brow bone as well as you guys can see but um, you don't want to tug or pull because it can cause premature wrinkles so I think you're actually supposed to use your ring finger when doing this but I use my middle finger. I just consciously always know to be very gentle with that area. Then my last step is my moisturizer. So I go in with the Mirad Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture. This is a must have for me, you guys. I absolutely love this product. I just kind of scoop it out with the front of my nail. It's a little tip if you have long nails like me, just kind of scoop it out with the front so it doesn't get all underneath. But that's besides the point of this video. You guys can tell that I don't really have to use a lot of this product. It does a really great job of really deeply moisturizing my dry, dry skin, but also keeping me acne free. Because I find with a lot of super heavy duty moisturizers that I've tried in the past, they just are filled with oil and they make me break out really bad, but I've had absolutely no problems with this product, so it really does a great job of moisturizing without making me full of acne. So yeah, that is my completed skincare routine. I hope you guys did enjoy this kind of different video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!